Welcome to the Marriott Sat Horn Vista in Bangkok. We've been here for four days. Uh, to have a quick look around the rooms, show you what it's like. We've got a three bedroom apartment here. Uh, okay, let's spin the camera around and have a look. So come through the door. First thing you come through, it's quite a strange layout. You seem to get lost as you walk around. Um, up on the 30th floor, you walk in, initially you think, wow, it's huge. Then realize that that's a big mirror. But we do have a writing desk, a place where you can sit down, write in chairs, etc. Large TV. Um, this is our view out the window. It's not the most spectacular view, but it's not bad. Um, directly behind the building in front is the King Power building, the tallest building in Thailand. You just can't see it because we've got a building in the way. Spin back around the other way. So we have the TV, that settee. Let's sort of walk on through. Air conditioning in the room is really good, nice and quiet. Let's walk through to the main bedroom. Main bedroom, writing desk again. Nice large bed. Telephones by the bed. TV. Build safe in the room. Quite large wardrobes. Once again, nice floor to ceiling windows. You can't access the balcony, but there is one there. Then walk on round. Huge ensuite bathroom. Large bath, toilet, shower, once again views across Bangkok. All the normal things in the bathroom, tissues, gels, soaps, toothbrush, that sort of thing. Laundry basket, not sure if you're going to use it. Okay, let's walk out of the main bedroom. Coming out of the main bedroom into a dining area. We have a kitchen, fully equipped. Microwaved oven, hob, dual sinks, dishwasher, large fridge freezer, mini bar. Complimentary bottles of water in there every day. And then what's also useful, obviously, when you, if you're traveling around places, is it has a tumble dryer and it also has a washing machine. There was some detergent supplied, only enough for one wash. Um, so you have to bring some more of yourself. I think they probably sell it down at reception. It also has tea, coffee, Pringles, Oreos, and instant noodles. Next bedroom. So there's another double room. TVs, lights, oh quick look at sockets while we're here. So that's the type, so it's the European round or flat type you'd be using here. It is pretty quick, what is good about it is next to the beds are the USB ports so you can charge up phones cameras and that sort of stuff while you're actually staying here. So it's quite a nice room, no problems at all. Third bedroom, similar size, slightly smaller double bed. So there's five of us here, so it's been okay. TVs again. Like I said, up on the 30th floor and in the distance, we actually get to see the river. Okay, let's take ourselves out. Final thing to show you is the final bathroom. So I say it's got two bathrooms, a bit smaller, 
no bath, shower, loo, and all the usual things to go with it. Generally, the hotel is good. Um, there's no real complaints about the hotel. Breakfast service, once again, is its only little letdown. The service isn't great. Food choice is okay-ish, but that's about it. Um, the only other downside is if you look down, you'll see that road there. That's the Sathorn Road at the moment. That's empty rush hour. That's completely solid. And so just to travel the distance for about a mile, mile and a half can take about half an hour. Um, so that's the only problem with this place. And the nearest uh, overground train, underground type thing, is about a 15 minute walk away. Um, that's its only disadvantage. So it's not a bad hotel. Would we stay here again? Uh, possibly. Um, it's not a no. We'd probably look around and see if we could find somewhere different. But at the end of the day, it, there's nothing wrong with this hotel whatsoever. Thanks a lot.